to UFC Heavyweight Division Collision. excited for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here too. The beautiful thing that he does is he throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kicks. He doesn't always intend on landing him, but he beats up your arm with high kick after high kick after high kick. And as you get desperate, you start to run into these, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. All right, so here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming. At least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Ensemble. He does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if he can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fights. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 199 pounds. Fighting out of Warsaw, Poland, Bo Crusher. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 200 pounds. Fighting out of Warsaw, Poland, Assassin! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Levine. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. to lock the expectations for this matchup as round one gets underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it all. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. All right, early round one, we'll see if he can use that jab and try to keep his opponent on the outside. Must be nice for these long fighters, huh? I mean, they are able to touch you as you try to enter into range. Tonight, he needs to use his jab, use his kicks to hit his opponent before his opponent can get into range to even start to think about striking. Ooh, what a punch. Beautiful takedown. Well, he finally lane. gets the takedown now, so what do they say? It, try, try again. If, if at first you don't succeed, you try, try again, and this guy is the poster boy for that saying because he shot many takedown attempts, and he finally has secured one. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Just over three minutes to go round one. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Big knee there to the chest. What a fight we got going on here.
rolling leg lock in MMA, man, is you get beat up, especially if you're a little bit hurt. Nicely done. He's got a clip with the right hand. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. Get out of there. Uh, worked hard to get up again, but he looks like he's compromised. Lands with the ground and pounds. Well, you got to be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Oh, he's going for his arm now. You got to be careful, arm bar. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what you, what you want. Man, that was beautiful, man. He had him hurt. He should have put him away. He was hurt. He was ready for that final blow. All right. He's probably still out. All right. Round two. Body keep land right under the elbow. Good job keeping that head off the center line. Slips to avoid the right hand. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. He gets to his spot, the tie clinch. Then he starts to let the knees go. And again, keeping that knee on the midsection. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are so. Oh! Really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Whoa! And just like that, the fight is over. Unbelievable. What a performance. Yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve LeBing has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 21 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by...